Hello C300, this is Devon Jennings again with Heart. Well, I will be doing a video on one of our FB problems. Today I chose the problem, problem number two, effective interest. A saving and loan offers 5.25% interest per year. Compounded daily over 365 days per year. What is the effective annual rate? Is it the same as compounded continuous interest? Why? So, these are two questions put in one. <clears throat> For the first, let's see. So first, let's define the uh, variables. I e, I sub e is the effective annual rate. R is the nominal annual interest rate. M is the number of compounding periods per year. Then with that, from my FE uh, manual, there's a straight, there's a formula that pretty much gets you straight to the answer, which is this. You see it on page, let me see what page was it. It's on page 127 of the FE reference guide. And this is I sub E equals parentheses, well, bracket, open bracket, one plus R divided by M, close bracket, over M, minus 1. Which, this is the formula for effective, effective annual rate. Um, okay, so with the data we have, we have... Um, the rate is 5.25%, which is compounded 365 days a year. So it's compounded daily per year, every day. And I guess it's a savings offer, which I never, I wish I ever seen the percentage that, that freaking good, 5%. I don't think that exists in our day anymore. Good rates like that. Um, But... Here is the formula, and I plugged in the numbers, the given data, which I did in terms of days. I did days per year since it said it was compounded daily for 365 days. So I plug in the numbers, and you get uh, 0.0539, and that equals 5.39%, if you times it by 100. Then there's a uh, the second part is, is it the same as the compounded continued interest? Which this is another formula from the reference, and this is uses the, uh, the e exponential. So you just plug in as e um, sub the rate 0.0525 and subtract it by one, and you happen to get the same percentage. And we got 5.39%. So they are the same. And that's because that's because these formulas are pretty much finding they're finding the same thing. It's just you have different ways of writing a formula. And you have different um values. Well the values are the same for this problem. But you're getting your point is to find the effective annual rate. And it's all com compounded continuously. So thank you for watching my video. This, if you have any questions, please leave any comments. Have a good evening.